For the law, having a shadow of the good things to come and not the very image of those things, can never, with those sacrifices which they offered continually year by year, make those who come unto it perfect. For then would not sacrifices have ceased to be offered. For worshippers once purged should have had no more consciousness of sins. But in those sacrifices there is a remembrance again made of sins every year. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. Therefore when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not have, but a body hast thou prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thou hast had no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book it is written of me to do thy will, O God. Above when he said, Sacrifice, and offering and burnt offerings, and offering for sin thou wouldest not have, neither hadst pleasure therein which are offered in accordance with the law. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God, he taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. By this will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering time and again the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down at the right hand of God. From henceforth to wait until his enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering he hath perfected forever those who are sanctified. Of this the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us, for after he had said before. This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Now where remission of these is, there is no more offering for sin. Having therefore boldness, brethren, to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. By a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us through the veil that is to say, his flesh. And having a high priest over the house of God. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast to the profession of our faith without wavering for he is faithful who promised. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. For if we sin willfully after having received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. But a certain fearful expectation of judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Of how much sorrow punishment, suppose ye, shall he be thought worthy who hath trodden underfoot the Son of God, and hath accounted the blood of the covenant, wherewith he was sanctified, an unholy thing, and hath despised the Spirit of grace. For we know him that hath said, Vengeance bellingeth unto me, I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. But call to remembrance the former days in which, after ye were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of afflictions. Partly while ye were being made a gazing stock both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly while ye became companions of those who were so used. For ye had compassion on me in my bonds and took joyfully the despoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that, after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of those who draw back unto perdition, but of those who believe, to the saving of the soul.